Every year, an estimated 50,000 people worldwide die of a blood-related parasite known as Chagas disease. Now, the FDA recently approved a test that identifies infected blood donors and could reduce the risk of disease transmission through blood transfusion. Yeah, the FDA does not require blood banks to test for Chagas, but only one blood bank in California is not using that test. KMIR 6 reported Tanya McCray went there to find out why San Bernardino Blood Bank is not using the test, even though they do service the Coachella Valley. Donating blood is good. Having these parasites in your blood is not good. These are T. cruzi parasites, and they cause a serious and potentially fatal parasitic infection called Chagas disease. Many people are asking why the blood bank of San Bernardino and Riverside County is the only blood bank in California that is not testing for Chagas. So I went and asked. The test is available, why not do it? Sure, and I think that's an important question. I'd like to point out that's really a national level question. Nationwide, approximately a third of blood banks are not testing for Chagas disease. The reason for that, I think, is relates to lack of evidence that the test is helpful. Dr. Rick Axelrod says the risk of getting Chagas disease is one in 100 million. The blood bank's advisory committee decided that is a risk worth taking. The public should not be alarmed for any blood center that doesn't test the blood supply for Chagas. One third of the blood supply, one third of the blood centers nationally do not test the blood supply for Chagas and have made the same exact decision that the blood bank of San Bernardino Riverside Counties has. But you are the only blood bank in California that is not testing for Chagas. And I think that is raising some red flags as to why you wouldn't test when the test is available. I think that, I think we are a national organization. I mean, the issue of California, this is not a California issue. This is a national issue. The test costs between five and eight dollars, but that cost would increase what a blood bank charges its hospital clients. Obviously, this is also an issue of money, just in the sense that every test costs a little bit more money to the blood bank. So some people might say, is this a matter of you putting profitability ahead of patient safety? Okay, this is not an issue of profitability or money at all for the blood bank. We follow the recommendation of the Medical Advisory Committee. The, medic, the physicians and the hospitals will pay for the test if we implement it. One of the big questions about whether or not blood banks should be testing for Chagas disease is that the current test has a high false positive rate. In the last eight months of testing, people who initially tested positive for the disease didn't have it. The community blood bank at Rancho Mirage has gotten one donor who tested positive. They said that was enough to convince them. 50% may seem like that's a large false positive rate, but when you're dealing with a potentially fatal disease, if half of your tests indicate a true positive, that's a significant number. Dr. Axelrod says he's keeping a close eye on testing results. This is a decision that the Medical Advisory Committee reviews monthly. We review the data nationally, and if that data changes, we will implement testing immediately. This is Tanya McRae for KMIR 6 News.